All right, so check this out. This was a question that was asked because I think on the last video, I did not do a good job explaining how to use the script. So that's what this video is all about, is showing you how this is created, how to use it, so you can download it yourself. So let's get into it. I also realized that I didn't show you guys how to get to the website and download that script. So if you go here to the website, copettidavid.com, you'll land on the home page and then you can access the tab that says grasshopper free scripts. When you click on that tab, then you can go down here and you'll see the free scripts. It'll be this one and it'll be replaced with a new one. Just wanted to share with you guys how to get there. And I also have a bunch of other resources if you're interested in that. All right, so check this out. What I've done here is I've organized it so you have everything labeled. And I also created this set of instructions here at the beginning. So as you can see, this is going to give us a description of how to use this script, which you can download completely for free. So let's start with the first one. We're going to pick the original size. The reason for this is everything, the entire script, it's based off of this circle. So if we move this around, this is going to increase the overall size and therefore change the pattern. So if we decrease this, this is going to change the original size. Now, once you pick the original size, you can see here that this says expand pattern frame. The reason for this is you can make the pattern smaller or larger depending on this slider. We can ex like expand the overall frame for that. But if you don't want that, if you want to keep the pattern pretty tight, you can lower this number so we can focus the pattern where we want it. The next portion is going to be, how do we change the pattern, right? Because we've changed the size, we've changed the frame, but now if we get into the divide pattern, this is where we go back, back to the original subdivision. So you can change it to four, five, six, and you can see that the base geometry is going to be Let's say if it's a six, it's going to be a hexagon. If it's seven, it's going to be a seven pointed polygon and so on. So this is where we can start dividing the pattern, let's say by eight. And then we have another pattern subdivision. Now from here, you get more of a truncation in a higher number subdivision. So if I go to two, it'll be smaller, three, we'll see that the complexity just increases when you increase this number. So this is how you can change it. Like I said, the higher the number you use on the second divide pattern, you're going to have more detail, more subdivisions. And then once you've picked how many subdivisions you want, this is where you can shift and change the pattern using the intersecting circles. We can also preview this if you want to see how the entire pattern is created and it's where those circles overlap. That determines a pattern. So this is overlapping circle geometries, extracting points and ultimately creating the pattern you see here. So if we move and change the original circle size, You'll see here that the pattern changes accordingly. So what's cool about the script is that we're able to see these very intricate patterns using subdivisions. And this is actually something very difficult to visualize unless you have a script like this, because to see the changes, you have to be able to change those circles at the same time. So once we have, let's say a pattern like this that we like, then we can move on and change, or we could do this at any other portion, is change the presets. Now the presets here, we have the gradient. The preset could be set to any of these, or you can create your own custom gradient. But what we're going to be also using that with is this slider. Well, when we move this slider, you'll see that it actually shifts the location of the color change. Let's change the preset to see what that looks like with a different preset. 
if you use this last one, you'll see that you start getting like a black and white checkered board type pattern. And I do want to develop one of these into a floor pattern array for let's say like a main entry. So if you have a main entry in your house and you wanted to create this intricate geometrical pattern, you can use something like a script like this and extract this geometry to be able to develop it. So what I'll do is I'll bring this back to our original presets and I'll have this available for you to download. It'll have the steps here. And at the end, if you want to extract the information, all you need to do is select this, middle click, bake. And now we can take this information and let's say plug this into a floor design and extract the geometry from here. So this is one way in which you can use Grasshopper to create scripts and designs and patterns that maybe you would have a difficult time creating without some a tool like this. This script will be completely for free on my website uh, for a long time. So if you guys want to download it, you'll have the link below to download this and see how it works and see how you can create scripts like this. I post videos every week sharing with you exercises and techniques that you can learn so you can use for your own scripts. So thank you very much for being here. Hopefully this was a good explanation showing you how we create these thematic patterns and I hope to see you on the next one.